today I'm with Gloria. Gloria, how old are you? I'm 26. How long have you been out here in the streets of Phoenix? Um, about a couple of months. What happened uh, two months ago to cause you to be on the streets? I don't even know. I don't know. You're smoking blues? You use blues? Yeah. Who introduced you to those blues? Myself. How many pills do you smoke per day? Um, probably went down to five. Maybe ten, most. Down from what? What, what, what was the most you were doing? Fifteen. Do you think it's possible for some people to do like 50? There's some people have told me they do 50, 100. You think, is that possible? Is your tolerance? I don't it? think it's possible. You don't think it's possible? Some people might over exaggerate and think it is. Right. It's true, that's possible. You're, you're feeling sad right now? Does your family know that you're out here? Sometimes it's hard to explain to people why where I'm at, why I'm why it took long to get back or anything like that. You know, like I said, I take turns with, with my friend. I don't just take up all their space. So you stay at a friend's house from time to time? When you don't stay at a friend's house, where do you stay? Different places. Have you tried professional treatment, like a treatment center, to help you with the, get off the blues? Um, yeah, I actually went to um, where they detox you. I was I was in jail for a little bit for five months, and I was on um, I forgot what it was called. Suboxone or something like that. Yeah, I was on suboxone. That that helped you. Yeah, they got me into the, where you go every day and you get the medication. Did that help you? Were you clean after that? Yeah. <clears throat> and then at some point you relapsed? I found out I was sick and they started giving me medication. Are you going to be okay from your illness? Yeah. yeah. What high school did you go to? I went to West Phoenix. West Phoenix. When you were younger, what did you want to become as an adult? I wanted to be a pharmacy tech, a teacher, and a bus driver. Pharmacy tech, teacher, and bus driver? What do you think derailed you, your, your hopes and dreams? Get better. What's up? Get better. Do you think that's going to happen? Yeah. Yeah. What, what steps do you need to take to start working towards your goals of getting better? Lots of people tell me that they take these blues to numb a pain, a trauma that they experienced when they were younger, whether that's physical, emotional, whatever that trauma is. Are you trying to numb a pain or a trauma? No. No? Just pain. That's it. And I'm talking about real pain, not no pain from something else. Physical pain? Emotional, physical pain? Yeah. Something on your body hurts physically? 
The doctors can't help you with that? Yeah, that's what I said. I take medicine for it. So you take medication prescribed by the doctors besides blues? If your family sees this, what message do you want to relay to them? You want to tell them I love them? You want to tell them you love them, you said? Do you miss them? Yeah. If they reach out to me and they want to come help you, come find you, are you okay with that? Yeah? So you're okay with me bringing them over here to come help you? Yeah? It's a lot of people say, no, don't tell my family. When they reach out to you, don't do that. Because they, uh, some people tell me they just don't want to bring this lifestyle to their family. That's what they tell me. They don't want to bring problems home is what they tell me. And I well, say, you never know when it's your last day, so maybe seeing them one time is better than not seeing them at all. Absolutely, yeah, I agree with that. It's okay, nothing wrong with uh, giving your family an opportunity to help you, support you. In the next three to six months, where do you think you'll be, Gloria? Still fighting? Fighting to be better. So you, you, you're fighting right now. Do you think you're winning? I mean, yeah, but I'm still walking. I'm still trying. That's all that counts. It's a great point. It's true. Um, I've been doing this since November 2020 interviewed hundreds of people and uh, I've already been to funerals 22 year old Gabby uh, 22 year old Diana passed away three Saturdays ago because of these pills you wouldn't want that news for your for your family right you wouldn't, you wouldn't want them to get that phone call from the police right That's why you gotta continue to fight and survive. And it's so dangerous out here, right? People just inappropriate questions and people telling you to get in their cars. Do you get a lot of that? Sometimes. It depends Sometimes. on days. Depends on the days. When I leave here, what are you gonna do? Get something to drink. It's hot. How do you deal with the heat? How do you try to stay cool out here? Getting water. Gloria, I'm gonna say thank you very much for talking to me. I really appreciate you opening up and uh, letting us know what you're going through. Just remember that you matter in this world. You're important, you are somebody. And uh, continue to fight to give yourself an opportunity to get better. Can I ask you what it says on your forearm, your tattoo? Your wings were ready, but my heart was not. So you lost somebody. I'm gonna hand you a blessing bag from one of my subscribers, her name is Shorty. Do you wanna open up this bag? and uh, see if these are items that you could use really quick. Let's check out those items.
uh, toiletries and snacks, a shirt, bandana, water, also a little letter uh, with the $5 gift card in there to QT. Can you open up that letter real quick and uh, stand up and read it to us, please? my card with my number call me if you need a ride to your families ride a treatment center or just somebody to talk to okay god bless you take care of yourself